Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Maka playing Hitman 3 and we're on the mission in Dubai. In this video, I'll show you how to grab the Flying Monkey Business Redacted Challenge, which is for making a target slip and fall during evacuation. I'll also show you the Mile High Club Challenge, which is for eliminating both targets as they are parachuting to escape. While I'm at it, I'll also show you a couple of miscellaneous things like where to find the helicopter key and where to find the scimitar. As for my setup, I am spawning as event staff inside of the meeting room and immediately upon starting, I pick up the banana directly in front of me and then I will take a small turn, use my camera to open up one of the windows and shimmy on out. I also did need to throw a quick coin as I turn the corner in order for the guard not to see me. This will allow me to hang on to the ledge and then go up a pipe and then end up through another window on a much higher floor. And this is basically gonna be the fastest way where you can easily and quickly get to where we need to get to in order to do these challenges. I also wanted to make sure I provided a spawn location that most people would have. And this is the first one you unlock for reaching level four mastery in Dubai. So really everyone should have it as long as you've beaten the mission at least one time. Once we get onto this ledge, use your camera to scan the window yet again to open it up and take out your silenced pistol. There will be a camera around the corner, which I will just shoot for simplicity's sake, but if you walk directly under it, it won't spot you. What we want is we want this guard's disguise right around the left-hand side corner, but you have to make sure that the guard in the hallway further doesn't see you. So wait until he goes to the left and then you can either try to spot him through the wall or I'll just show it on screen. As soon as he turns his head to walk across back to the right hand side, you can subdue this guard safely and easily. And now you can drag their body into this side room and change into their disguise. There will be a handyman working on some stuff in here, but he really shouldn't be bothered by you. He is pretty oblivious. You can also make sure that you pause your game and make a save just in case you are not sure if you'll get that on your first try. Pick up the gun as to not alert any guards to it and then run forward and to the right hand side to find the security room. Inside of the security room, enter into the safe and the combination is 6927. Press OK to open it up and inside you'll find the evacuation key card. You can also find the penthouse staff card and a second banana on this desk. Grab both, it's always good to have two just in case. Walk out and there will be another camera directly in front of you. You can either shoot it or just walk right under it as I did. We are now making our way up into the kind of penthouse area. There's a bunch of things we can do and I'll make sure to talk about all of them. As soon as we round this corner, we'll notice these two guards talking and they are the clue as to how the evacuation works. After they talk, they'll move, but since they're not going to move yet, I'm going to first walk into this room and pick up the kitchen knife, which I'll need for later. At this point, I am ready to start taking care of some other things, so I'm going to walk back and across this room into the ventilation room. Here I can find a crowbar, which I'll pick up, and this crowbar can unlock this shortcut for me, which I already have done. Climb down, and what we'll need to do is use the pistol in order to take care of the helicopter pilot. If you do want a better rating, you can feel free to go and subdue them and try to hide their body, but it can be pretty difficult. I found this to be the easiest. And really quickly here on the scaffolding and catwalk directly underneath, you can find the helicopter key. I was just aiming at it to show you where it is, although I won't be personally picking it up for the purposes of this video. At this point, I'll be going back upstairs and towards the evacuation area. Feel free to make a save just in case. Now what I'll be doing is using that kitchen knife that I picked up earlier to open up and sabotage the parachutes. I'm gonna make sure to sabotage both of them. Now when the targets go to skydive, their parachutes won't open and it will count as an accident kill. The reason we had to actually take care of the helicopter pilot though is that is the first course of action and they only parachute once they realize they can't take the helicopter. Once both of the parachutes are sabotaged, it's time to start the evacuation protocol by swiping the card in both slots within the same 10 seconds or so. Here you'll see that it says target locked down in the bottom left hand corner. And if you scan through the map to look at the target locations, you'll notice that they are running towards the helicopter. It depends on your timing how long this takes. If they're both near the helicopter, it can be quite quick, but often one of the characters has to run almost across the entire map. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. 
Now in the top left corner, I was notified that the helicopter pilot was found, which is actually fine because that means they know that they can't take the helicopter. Before I go to the helipad though, I am going to show you where I can find the scimitar. If you pick this up and then just put it right back down, you will unlock a challenge if it's your first time for finding that item. Now what we can do is head down these stairs and I'll show you where these targets meet. And this is important because if you are going for the challenge where you kill both targets with one sniper bullet, this is the best time to do it as they both stand directly next to each other. I'm just going to take a quick peek at them so that I can show you guys what you're looking at in the video, but you can basically just wait upstairs at this point. Also, watch out, one of the guards can see through your disguise. This though is where both of the targets stand right next to each other and a decent place at which you can save as we'll be doing a lot of quick tasks coming up. So now what we want to do is go back to where the parachutes are and take out your banana. Now in order to place the banana as a banana peel, what we'll want to do is we'll want to crouch and then hold the left and right bumper at the same time to place an object and place it on the ground. Only if you place a banana like this does it become a banana peel. And I'm gonna put two banana peels directly underneath the evacuation key card reader right next to the parachutes. At this point, you can pretty much just get ready to evacuate, but I'm gonna stick around just to make sure to show you exactly what happens and what you're looking for. You can accidentally put the bananas in the wrong place, and there are some instances where a guard will fall on them instead of the target. So just make sure you try to mimic the locations as quickly as possible. Don't put the bananas on the walkway to the balcony though, as there are a lot of guards that walk by and will fall on it before the targets have a chance. Also, if it doesn't work for whatever reason, just make sure to load one of your previous saves. Now the targets will run from the helipad and put on the parachutes, and if the bananas are in the right place, you'll notice that they will slip and fall and get knocked out. This is how you unlock your achievement or trophy and complete the challenge. I already had mine done, which is why you don't see it show up on screen. Now I did have two banana peels there, but only one of the targets fell. I guess when the first guy fell, he knocked out both of the peels. Now, this guy will be knocked out, which is fine, but one of the guards will find his body, so don't worry. They will wake him up, and then he will begin to also exfiltrate, which is what we need in order for both of the targets to get taken care of uh, in terms of being eliminated while they parachute. Because they have parachutes that are cut, they will jump off the side of the building, and unfortunately, those parachutes will not deploy. This part is just basically waiting and getting ready to extract. I'm going to make the video interesting, so I'm going to kind of follow them out to show you the good stuff. Now, if you prefer, you can head back to the helipad, grab that helicopter key and exfiltrate with the helicopter, or you can follow them onto the balcony and exfiltrate as a skydiver. You can also just head back all the way to the main lobby to exfiltrate, or you can hack the server to open up the elevator shafts. It's up to you. If you did use this method though, you will not get Silent Assassin, but if you decided to take out the helicopter pilot by hand and hide his body, you should get the accidental kills and the Silent Assassin rating. That's pretty much it. This is how you can do this in under eight minutes. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, maybe share the video with a friend, and stay tuned for a lot more Hitman 3 content. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Peace. Soon there will be no more Providence.